Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the one and be only the Punisher Night Game. And come back to you some more EA Sports UFC 4 Online Stand and Bang, baby. Basically, when this game mode is all about standing in front of your opponent, beating the fuck out of him, and getting him on the ground for the KO. And I am using Cody Garbrandt, former Bantamweight champion of the world. I think this uh, weight class is 135. Yeah, I believe so. And he chose Marlon Marais. A very, very tough opponent. But today, I will be whooping that ass. And also, thank you for the love and support that you show on my channel. Salute to all my new subscribers. It's greatly appreciated. And as well, for my returning subscribers. Well, you know, flex on real quick. Gotta show that much love. Gotta show that much love. And also, I'm learning from my mistakes in these uh, quick fights and just playing online in general because I was nervous at first. Because I thought, like, I was just gonna get. Queen swept because like, I'm so getting used to the way that this game plays compared to the like, UFC 3 and like, UFC 2 and like UFC 1 because those, those two are my heyday type of game where I used to play like all the time online after I got done with the career mode. Now UFC 3 I skipped for the most part because I really hated the combat system in that but I think this game pretty much perfected like the combat system to a point where I, like, it helps newer players get into it and like you know find that ground and also helps like more veteran players like me find a comfortable spot to be at and like understands like like more advanced movements come with more time playing the game because I won't be out here doing uh, five hit combos and this and that Succession or anything like that. So, like, you know, I understand like the way that certain characters' perks moot like work and everything. Like, a hard hitter or someone who can get up quickly. Of like, I don't know. I don't know all the perks names and shit because I don't study it that well. But I just get out there and fight. That's more of my type. Like, play style. Get out there and fight. Learn how to, you know, how different um characters work and shit like that. School of Hard Knocks type of shit. Keep it simple. This fight, I was taking a ton of fucking shots unnecessarily. But don't worry, I've gotten a lot better since this fight. But I know I should have blocked my damn body because he kept hitting me in my body like over and over and over again. So I'm surprised I didn't get like the bodies, like I didn't get um, rocked to the body because he just kept hitting me there. And over time, like, certain body parts tend to get, like, weaker. As you can see, the little health bar, my body constantly goes down, and then comes a little up, a little bit by little. So it's just like, you gotta keep, like, basically micromanage all these little gauges. Like, your health, see? I just got rocks and drops on the ground, but I'm still good, because my character has a strong chin. So... I can't keep on taking these crazy shots though, because that'll eventually wear my body, wear my chin down to a point where it's easier for me to get knocked. But you'll see exactly what I'm talking about later on in this video, what happens to my opponent. Because you see I'm pressuring him right now, he doesn't really have nothing to like show me. Because I already know he just fancy moves and shit, so... I love playing against guys like this because it helps me like be more comfortable with this game and like know who the who's a top fighter and who's just like you know playing this game to be random and he's some more and more tweaker type fighters that constantly throw these crazy shots out there with no real recourse of like understanding of like the distance damage and uh when it's appropriate time to do what For me i'm just kind of throwing some crazy shots out there and trying to like you know get a feel for what he's going to try to do, but now I'm like, alright, he's just going to be throwing some crazy stuff out there, so if I can, like, wear his stamina down a bit, then I can get him out of here, and 
and that's exactly what I did. I'm not the best UFC commentator, but hey, <laughs> that will change over time. I wanted to get him pinned into the, the cage right here because I just wanted to tee off on him. And I see here, he's like literally just throwing random elbows everywhere. So I was like, alright, alright, I see you. I'm throwing out your stamina like it ain't nothing. You don't understand how stamina works in this game, apparently, so. I want to clean him up right here. Get him the fuck out of here, coach. He's done for it. As I can see, his stamina is gone. His blocking is just fine. Ah! Turned against him, and his head health is no, really no, bad. No, no, no! He tried to get me to flying in, and then he got Fatality. <laughs> Give him a body bag. And that's the one, the only punishment on the game. Signing out. Not getting fools out and getting a win. I'll see y'all next time. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay positive, stay healthy, stay the fuck away from crowds, not girls. Talk to them as much as you can, man. Because we ain't creating insults out here. And have a good one. <laughs>